All right, all right. Here we are with the Silverthorn deck profile. Why am I playing this deck? I don't fucking know. Anyway, and set things off. Turn one V starter because it's SP. Fun. It's good. Main main card for Venus. Poor Venus. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Main right target. It creates XL markers. Mm. Creates board. That's it. Um, if you don't find this, if you're going first and you don't find this turn three, you lose the game. By the way, so I'll just. <clears throat> and then we have one regular one regular loop because you need to run it. So this five right targets going second, and then these three right targets going first. Next, next we have one Mega Root, one Dorian. This is one off because it's for some reason a one off. Um, this randomly snipes things, I guess, because your opponent's soul. Oh, boo hoo. Your search shows out, we have one forward all. If Dorian magically lands up in damage or something, you can fetch you can, and you heal it out, fetch you can fetch it out with forward all, so that's why you run it. Anyway, uh, so that's it for grade threes. On to grade twos. Uh, grade twos. Four, four dragon, because. 30k beaters are good, I guess, and drawing cards is fun. Uh, he cycles through your deck really fast. Next up, three grade two right target, because because you like fetching pieces. Um, I, I <clears throat> you like you really like fetching pieces in this deck, because this deck doesn't really like turbo turbo soul charge. So uh, finding that one random piece where you just win the game, it's really nice. So it's worth a CP too. And then we have two extenders because I, I like extending. I, I don't know. Next up, we have one Synctitude. Uh, good card. Run it. Saves hand. And that's it. <laughs> next up, we have. Next, we have four grade one right target, aka um, the shitty the shitty archetypes um, column bard. Um, find this turn one, and then it's useless for the rest of the game. Okay, and next up we have one Dream, it, um, um, one D, one V Dragon. Um, these both have their have their purposes, but they both basically help out quite a bit. And this one makes your columns butt fuck ass high, and then this one can randomly make it infinite. Oh, semi infinite loop with with another card. With this thing. With this thing. Um. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. So purple trapezes in Silverthorn. Silverthorn locked purple trapezes because you're good at this game. Uh, next up, we have uh, three of the most underrated grid one in the game with this thing. Um, this thing says on booster on attack soul charge one plus five k. This this thing fixes so many fucking issues in the deck. It's not even funny. So sudden, so the biggest issue or the biggest flaw I saw with this deck is that it, it doesn't create enough aggro to fast enough because you're gonna get outgrinded by most decks because you deck out so fast. Um, this fixes it. So suddenly, so suddenly your numbers are actually fixed and your columns aren't suddenly dog shit. So. It's also 10k shield, so if you don't need it, you don't need it. So you can just pull a card with it, which is really good. So, so run this card. Next up, we have one Anna, and then, and then two, two of this. Um, the reason why one of this is because this thing minuses you, but like at the wrong time. But sometimes you just need it. Um, this is the preferred one, so that's why you're in it too. If one of these winds up in damage, it kind of fucked, but whatever. Um, this thing says, um, put two in a soul, and then CC one. This says, put two in a soul at the end of the at the end phase. So that's why this one's a lot better. Next up, triggers because we're good at this game. One red OT because this creates the most aggression. Um, four heal guard because this deck is really fragile. So, and also you don't you don't want to really throw away pieces. So sometimes you just use a heal guard. So it helps out with not saving pieces in hand. 
Got three drop EG because we're running Sanctitude. <laughs> um, three stride crits. Um, three stride crit because you know, Alex striding. Hot take: We have one Dixie. Um, this thing is a brick, and it's it's only good as a one. And then we have four four erotic crits because we're good at this game, and we're like buying cards. Okay. So that's it. That's it for the main deck. And G zone. Next up, we have our G zone because we're good at this game. So we have one harmonics. Um, we'll run this card. Fifty dollar gatekeep. Uh, two, two princess, because you can't run the third because you have harmonics. Um, let's see. three Harry because um I like I like randomly creating multi attack without having too much CP on board. It's also your stride going second most of the time. Um, one of your bets because sometimes it comes up, sometimes you get dealt. <clears throat> uh, two Leon Fina. Um, your main finisher. If you're going first and your opponent's at like four or three. Which sounds up which most of the time they are. Um, you just go into this and you can magically just wipe out most of their hand, or, or they die. One of the two. So very good card. Very, very, very important. So that's your main finisher. Secondary finisher, dust because it's dust. Maybe we all know what this thing does. Uh, next up for G guards, we have um two of this dragon because. Is you can randomly pitch in a PG from you should randomly soul charge a PG or a draw PG from soul or into your soul. You can fetch it out with this thing and guard with it. So good, good card. Uh, two Chimera because it's Chimera and I like the I like pseudo denial Griffin. Oh, mm -hmm. oh one flip G guard because sometimes you need shield and you don't want to commit anything. AKA cards for hand. And then one of this, if you feel just like randomly need to find a piece from top deck or whatever. So sometimes this comes up. And yeah, and that's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you want me to go in depth or more explanations, just let me know, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyway, hope you guys have a nice day and goodbye.